Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learbird. Today I'm going to do a question and answer on a 12 week old puppy where the trainer wants to teach him to retrieve because he wants to make a hunting dog out of him. This question came into our website through the Ask Cindy portal and I try and pick questions that come in and do these short little videos on them because I think a lot of them are common questions with simple answers. And that's what we're faced today with too because this is a good one. I'll read it. My 12 week old puppy is a lab mix and is pretty mellow. I want to increase his drive to be able to train him with obedience and I want to teach him to retrieve. He likes to tug and chase a flirt pole. And for those people that don't know what a flirt pole is, it's a long pole with a, with a, oh, a toy of some kind on the end that the dog likes to play with. And you can bounce that, that toy around with a flirt pole and the puppies will chase it. They can make a game out of it. So he likes to tug and chase the flirt pole, but not much if the toy is in my hand. I want to get closer to the action so he bonds more with me. Should I be more patient as he's still very young or do I need to do something that's different? Thank you for your time. So very good questions. Building a bond with the puppy is a progression that you go through. Generally speaking, young puppies don't have big drive for playing tug. Not all, but a lot. The young puppies like this have more food drive than they do toy drive and that can change after they're done teething. So before they're teething, we'll often work more with food. Most puppies are gonna teeth somewhere around four to six months old. But when they start to teeth, we don't do any tug playing with them. Uh, their mouth hurts, their teeth hurt, they don't feel that good, they don't wanna play tug. So we put it away. If they have the genetics to do the work and play tug, it'll be there after they're done teething. So take your time and work into it. In the meantime, work your dog with food. Work the puppy with food. There's a lot of games that you can play. It's your engagement work with your puppy. Something else to be aware of with young puppies is they may like to bounce around and chase a flirt pole, but there's such a thing as spatial pressure and that is when you get closer to the puppy and you're seeing it here with this dog, that if you get too close and you try and get it to play with the toy that's in your hand, the puppies kind of back off. They feel spatial pressure. And if you give them time, play with them long enough, find out what the toys are this puppy really, really likes, it, it will come. When you want to go from using the flirt pole to having the puppy play with you, take the special toy and put it on a string or a leash, bounce it around with that. When you're playing tug with the dog, go up the leash, pet the puppy, back off on the leash, get away from the puppy, so that it learns that spatial pressure, with you anyway, is not a big thing, because you like to play with the string and the toy. You will come up, you'll pet him, and then let him have it and drag it off. That's a good way to work with puppies when you start to do the age-specific, health-specific part of your puppy growing up. But the bottom line is, we like doing this stage with our dogs. We learn a lot about their temperament, and, and it's just a great way to be part of building a relationship with your dog. So if you want to learn more, get the online course that we have with Michael Ellis on, on how to raise a puppy. And then for those people that are new to Learbird, have never been to our website, we've got a lot of information there. We sell a lot of really high quality dog training equipment. Since I started this business back in 1982, I've never sold products that we wouldn't use ourselves on our own dog. We're not gonna sell some of this cheap crap that you can buy in these big box stores. That's not what our business is about.